Welcome back to Franchise Football, everyone. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and today we're back home in Mercedes-Benz Stadium where the Washington football team has come a calling. Washington is kind of in the same quarterback pickle as the Falcons, a vet leading the pack, but some help is needed. Of course, this is going to be a good test for the defense because although Fitzpatrick has a lot of experience in his 16 seasons in the league, he still has to move the ball down the field. Atlanta has the number 32 defense in the NFL and is in need of playing lights out in order to hold the Washington offense in check. As for that Washington defense, I would think that the middle of the field would be the point of attack for Ryan because that seems to be the weakest link. Can the young pups in the Falcon running attack make a dent in this very talented Washington D-line? Let's find out as we get to the field here on the MMC Broadcast Network. Young Way Koo gets us underway here in Atlanta, and Antonio Gibson takes a knee in the end zone. Bringing out to the 25-yard line where Fitzpatrick and company will take charge. From the shotgun, J.D. McKissick takes it out to the left, breaks a tackle, and it is inside Falcon territory. And there's a flag on the play. This one is coming back. Holding on Curtis Samuel, brings it all the way back to the 35. But it's first and in inches, and McKissick has the first down with no problem. Mitchell Schwartz is injured on the play, but on the sideline looks to be okay. Gibson takes it to the left and has the first down. No, it's going to be just short, second and one. McKissick finds the room, has the first down, and much more all the way to the 38. Fitzpatrick hands off to McKissick, and he goes off tackle to the right and down to the 31. McKissick gets it again, takes it outside to the right, and gets down to the 26th, first and 10. Gibson powers his way up the middle and gets to the 19. Seven yard pickup, and he picks up the first down and inside the 15, all the way to the 12, giving Washington their first red zone visit of the day. Garrett misses a tackle and McKissick is inside the 10, down to the eight yard line. Pass by Fitzpatrick, and it's first and goal at the one for the football team. Fitzpatrick back to pass, throws a bullet into the end zone and it's intercepted. A.J. Terrell is going back the other way, all the way from coast to coast. 10-5 touchdown and dives into the end zone. Atlanta sure needed that one and it's seven to nothing. Washington trying to remedy the situation. McKissick goes up the middle and is tackled at the 29. Second and six. Again, the handoff goes up the middle and McKissick gets barely back to the line of scrimmage tackled by Richie Grant. Third and six. On the move, Fitzpatrick goes down in the arms of Everson Griffin. That will bring out the punting team and the Falcons take over. Patterson with the carry and over the 40 yard line for a five yard gain. Our first look at Puka Williams and he has the first down and more into Washington territory. Now on third and five, Ryan drops back, almost intercepted. That brings out the punt team. The Kick is on its way and out of bounds at the four. An excellent punt to pin Washington deep. And McKissick 
Takes it out past the 10. He gets a nine yard pickup out of it. Atlanta giving a single high look. McKissick out to the right, has the first down, a lot more out past the 25 and finally tackled at the 28 yard line. Out of the shotgun, Fitzpatrick throws and it's caught. Kelvin Harmon takes it out of the bounds at the 44 yard line. Second and nine, back. Fitzpatrick throws short. Harmon running up the right side boundary and gets tackled at the 48. So that brings up third and two. Fitzpatrick throws short. Gibson breaks a tackle and is out in the open and out of bounds at the 32. Washington driving down the field again. Fitzpatrick hands off to McKissick and he is inside the 30 yard line for a four yard pickup. The handoff goes to Gibson left and he's inside the 25. On third and six, Fitzpatrick back. The ball is batted at the line of scrimmage, intercepted by Foyer Aluokun and he is gone the distance. Another pick six. A 59 yard return. You can see on the replay, the ball is batted by Tyler Davison. And that allows Foye Aluokan to just get under it well enough to where he can pick it off and go the distance. Missed field goal, and Atlanta leads 13 to nothing. Pass out to Logan Thomas is complete, and that brings us to the end of the first quarter. Third and five now. Fitzpatrick over the middle. Hits Thomas for the first down, and he takes it out to the 38. Harmon on the jet sweep, weaves his way all the way to the 48. So it's now third in inches. McKissick gets the first down up the middle. Again, McKissick finds a hole and he goes up the middle all the way to the 41. A nine yard pickup, third in inches now. And a throw deep and overthrows Curtis Samuel. The Washington punt is on the way and out of bounds at the four. Turning the tables on the Falcons, and they start out in a hole this time. And Patterson out to the seven. Third and seven now. Ryan back in the end zone, passes, and it's complete to Calvin Ridley at the 26 for a first down, and the Falcons are out of trouble. Second and eight. And this one is complete to Zacchaeus to the 36. So on first and 10 out of the shotgun, Ryan throws and it's intercepted. Bobby McCain to the 34 yard line and that puts Washington in a very good spot to start their drive. Ryan trying to get it to Isabella and all McCain did was jump in front of that. And it's going back the other way. Fitzpatrick back to pass. Throw short to McKissick. Inside the 30. And tackle at the 28. Now second and four. Up the middle goes McKissick. And he has the first down. Finally tackled at the 24 by Grant. Up the middle, he goes again, down to the 17 yard line. Third and three, and Harmon takes it on another jet sweep and gets down to the 11. Third and four, Fitzpatrick throws into the end zone, touchdown Logan Thomas. For a second there, I thought he had dropped that pass, but 
I guess he had it long enough to where the officials say it is definitely a touchdown. So the Falcons still with a six point lead at the 38 yard line. Patterson takes it up the left hand hash marks and is out past the 40 yard line. Second and five and he picks up the first down out to the right side this time. Just under two and a half to go in the first half. Ryan loads up, throws deep, and it's caught. Russell Gage at the two-yard line, taking us to the two-minute warning with the Falcons ready to score again. Cordero Patterson up the middle and scores. Touchdown, Falcons taking it to 19 to seven. You see on the replay, McCain is gonna come up and try and make that stop, but he just can't get it done. Patterson has way too much steam going and into the end zone for the touchdown he goes. 20 to seven is the score now with Fitzpatrick back to pass and a blown coverage. Terry McLaurin has the deep pass and Grant can't catch up and it's a touchdown, Washington. McLaurin was so wide open on this play. It really wouldn't surprise me if he had dropped that gimme pass, but all the way down the field without anybody touching him or even being within 10 yards. Pass now from Ryan deep, and it's caught. Ridley goes down at the 22, tackled by Moreland, and Ryan throws complete to Isabella, and he has the touchdown. Isabella on the deep crossing route. Washington caught in a zone defense, and he was wide open in the middle of the field into the end zone. 27-14 is your score. The Falcons taking another 13-point lead. Fitzpatrick back to pass. Connects out to Harmon, tackled at the 40-yard line. After a timeout, the pass is intercepted. Duran Harmon Picks it off and stops the Washington threat here before halftime. So the score remains 27 to 14 here at the break. Now for a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. We'll get you right back to the Atlanta Washington game in a moment. But we need to update you on a couple of games that are going on right now as well. Over in Dallas, the Panthers and Cowboys are playing a very tight game. Carolina going into the half with the lead 14 to 13 behind the running of Christian McCaffrey. Dallas, however, is having some success in the passing attack as the Panthers are holding Ezekiel Elliott in check so far. Meanwhile, Patrick Mahomes has thrown three first half touchdowns to take the Chiefs into the half with a 31 to nothing lead in Philadelphia. It seems that the Kansas City defense is putting a lot of pressure on Colin Kaepernick, causing him to throw two interceptions. In New Orleans, the winless Saints are playing some magnificent defense, holding Frank Gore to just 31 yards on the ground and Daniel Jones to only 52 yards through the air to take a 10 to six lead into halftime. Here in Atlanta, a couple of first half pick sixes have lifted the Falcons to a 13 point lead here at the midpoint. Can Washington make a comeback here in the second half? Stay tuned because we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. 
Both teams have made some big miscues here in the first half, but the Falcons have been able to capitalize a little better than Washington. Will that play a factor in the final of this game? Let's find out. Ryan out of the shotgun. Patterson takes the handoff. Up the middle he goes to the 35-yard line. A second in inches. And Williams picks up the first down up the middle. Now on third and ten, Ryan back to pass. Has all day and throws almost intercepted. Moreland was there, just didn't get the job done. The punt. Jeff Vadit fields it at the 31. Has room on the right side and finally out of bounds at the 43-yard line. After a holding penalty, Ryan back lets it fly and... Oh my goodness, what a catch by Patterson on the sideline. Ryan back again, passes over the middle, a first down to Russell Gage. Now at the 32 yard line, Ryan over the middle to Gage again, down to the 18. And Puka Williams takes it up the middle, inside the 15 and tackled at the 11. Second and three, Patterson dives. Did he make the first down? Yes, he did. On second and goal, the pass is broken up. William Jackson with perfect coverage in the end zone. Ryan back to pass again, throws, and this one is dropped by Gage. Fourth and goal. Coup on for a 23-yard field goal, and it's up through the middle. 30 to 14 is your score. Fitzpatrick over the middle, completes this one to Gibson, tackled at the 33. Now third and two, and another broken coverage. McLaurin again, same thing, just on the other side of the field, and he goes the distance all the way to the end zone. The Atlanta defense sold out to the run. They thought it was going to be a run up the middle. McLaurin takes off down the sideline all alone into the end zone. It's now 30 to 20. And Williams up the left hand hash marks to the 30 yard line. Second and five. A fake handoff and the pass is complete. Out to Pitts, he was wide open, out of bounds at the 42. Now on third and 10, Ryan back, loads up, goes long, and it's incomplete. Gage can't hold on to it. That gives the ball back to Washington, and it's complete. Out to Logan Thomas on the right side. A short gain, and Gibson takes it and finds lots of room, a hole. Oh my goodness, was that huge. I think I could have made it through that hole all the way to midfield. And the pass goes to McLaurin down to the 34 and that brings us to the end of quarter number three. With the Falcons still on top by 10, Fitzpatrick over the middle, Logan can't hang on to it. So that brings out Hopkins, 51 yard try and off the right upright. No good and the score remains 30 to 20. Pass is complete to Gage, tackled at the 49 inside. Washington territory, Patterson goes up the middle and does he get the first down? No, they're going to call him just short of the sticks. And he picks it up on the following play. First and 10. Williams finds a huge hole all the way down to the 16-yard line. And inside the red zone for Atlanta. Lindstrom goes down and is on the sideline getting checked out. 
He should be okay. Patterson takes it out to the right numbers, and he's to the 11. Ryan from the shotgun gives off to Patterson, changes direction, and he only gets down to the eight. So third and one. Mason comes in, has the first down. Oh, there's a flag on the play. And it's holding, so it's coming back on Jake Matthews. So from the 15, they just give it to Patterson, and he takes it down to the 14, and that will be a 31-yard field goal, and it's up and good. 33-20. to 20. Back to a 13-point lead for the Falcons. Fitzpatrick lets it fly, complete to Harmon and out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Washington needs to keep pushing it down the field. And the pass is a nine-yard reception to the 46, third and one. Pass to Harmon, has the first down inside the 35-yard line, down to the 33, third and 10. And all alone is Harmon, takes it down to the eight and finally tackled by Duran Harmon. The pass into the end zone, touchdown Washington. Curtis Samuel makes the grab. Sheffield had very good coverage on that, but the pass was in a perfect place just an outstanding play by Washington. And after an Atlanta three and out, it's Washington's ball again, complete to Terry McLaurin to the 48 of the Falcons. Fitzpatrick drops back and completes another one to McLaurin to the 42. Second and four, dropping back and Gibson catches it, and Jones is there immediately to make the tackle. So third and seven. Fitzpatrick completes it over the middle to Harmon. First down at the 30-yard line. Second and 10. Another completion over the middle. Deion Jones is injured, but on the sideline. More upset with himself than anything. And the pass goes into the end zone. Caught Curtis Samuel. Touchdown. Another blown coverage. The Falcons expecting run and not getting it. And no one was even remotely close to getting to Samuels in the end zone. So with that score... Washington takes the lead in the ball game. Ryan throws it to Pitts out of bounds at the 25. No good. Fourth and 10. And Gage over the middle catches that one for the first down and more, taking us to the two-minute warning. Now Ryan drops back, throws, and it's caught. Tackled at the 11-yard line is Quez Watkins. It just seems like this kid comes in for big plays and makes them. Second and six from the six. Williams up the middle. Doesn't get the first down. Third and one. And Patterson takes it the rest of the way. Touchdown, Falcons. Now, not that I'm disappointed to see the Falcons on top in this game, but where are the defenses? Oh, my goodness. A two-point conversion. Williams is stopped in the backfield by McCain. And the score remains 39-34. Fitzpatrick throws a completion First down, Terry McLaurin. 40 seconds left, and that is intercepted. Isaiah Oliver 
with the interception taking it the distance. Gibson not enough speed to catch up to him. A 45 yard return and the Falcons take a huge lead 46 to 34. And the pass going long connects with Curtis Samuel and that is to the 44 yard line. Time running out. Fitzpatrick throws long and is incomplete. That will end the game and Washington has its first win of the season and it's appropriate that it happens here at home. Obviously, each team had their moments, but as a whole, 80 points on the board could be a sign that either neither team was prepared defensively or there could be some problems that need to be addressed. It's already established that defensively, the stats for the Falcons are just, well, yeah, they're bad. Uh, they occupy the 32nd spot in the NFL and it showed today. Or I should say, where were the defenses past the first couple of minutes of the game? The defenses combined <laughs> gave up over 1,000 yards of offense in the game. Not saying that the offenses weren't coming up with some good plays, they were. There were plays that netted a lot of yards because of loose coverage or just blown coverages. If you look at the completion percentages for both Fitzpatrick and Ryan, neither one of them had outstanding numbers. Fitzpatrick had five passing touchdowns, but threw four interceptions to go with him. Ryan just can't seem to get out of the rut of throwing more interceptions than touchdowns. And that needs to be turned around or the Falcons are going to be in real trouble this season. Patterson and Williams combined for over 130 yards rushing, which I thought was kind of amazing considering the talent of the Washington D-line. In the passing game, Washington's Harmon and McLaurin just went crazy with over 300 reception yards, proving that the Falcon pass defense needs some help. From a tackling perspective, the Falcons looked pretty good. Out of the first seven players on the stat list, six of them were Falcons. However, they were on the field a greater percentage of the game. In looking at how many yards they gave up, it would seem that those tackles aren't being made soon enough in the play. Between McKissick and Gibson, they racked up 76 yards after the contact and in order for the defense to get better, they need to tackle sooner rather than letting the offense rack up those yards first. The chance to improve that will come next week with a trip to London for a game against the New York Jets. They're led by rookie quarterback Zach Wilson that was the second overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. Hines is the number six halfback in the league right now, so it'll be a big test to see if the defense can plug up the run a bit better than they have been, especially since Wilson can roll out of the pocket and extend the play that way. From what the team stats are telling me is that Atlanta will need to have Ryan at the top of his passing game since that seems to be where the majority of the yards can be racked up. Since Jamal Adams went to the Seahawks, the Jets just don't have that commanding presence in the safety crew. So Long may be a, more of an option than in past weeks. This should be a good one from across the pond. Now that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. 
Atlanta outlasted a charging Washington offense with an interception by Isaiah Oliver that put a stop to the comeback threat. The Falcons need to be improved a quite a bit defensively, especially in the pass defense area. And can they make some improvements in time to be implemented against Zach Wilson and the Jets offense? Atlanta was able to get their first win today against Washington, but the, can they keep the wheels turning full speed ahead, or will New York bring that train to a screeching halt? Be with us to find out when we come to you from London's Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.